so uh, I just wanted to check the last time you, was a big void that was with my mother's passing away. Right. So that's, yeah, that's got a lot better. Praise God. Uh, yep. And the nail, the nail biting is still there. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, actually, I noticed that uh, the last two, three days before this meeting, it increased. Really? Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so okay. the triggers are backsliding a little bit on the lust. I've had occasional ones there. Mm -hmm. uh, you were doing really good uh, for a while, though. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, didn't you need to move and you needed a job as well, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, so I've moved into a new place here in this room. Praise God. And then the job, I got a, I did get a job, but it, I didn't really enjoy it. It wasn't really for me, but they sort of like got rid of me before I got rid of them in the long okay. run. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. So what happened when you stopped that job? What did God do with you in between? On the in between, I've actually been quite relaxed on it all, <laughs> considering um, just reevaluating re where to go, trying to get a, a better direction, mm -hmm. and obviously a better a, a job which is more. Uh, Monday to Monday to Friday day hours instead of the night shift and on off off one week one because this this region is, is quite big in the one week on one week off one week on like day shift and the night shift because it's in the it's all in the gold areas and you're flying there's a lot of gold mines around this area but what has happened <clears throat> in that time you said with the um, is that I did start the a deliverance course uh, with a guy which is really, I've looked at a lot, read a lot of books and stuff, but this one seems like really good and like any Josh, Josh Soap who's into it can actually do it. Mm -hmm. And it's got some really good stuff behind it. Praise God. So what would you like Jesus yeah. to do for you today? Um, well, first of all, a job for income. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a good one that's around the corner, which is sort of like a operations manager type role, which could be quite good for me, which I would I, I'd quite like. And then um, next week, I'm actually going to do my heavy duty driver's license to make myself more employable and drive heavier loads and stuff. So do you drive a truck or something? Not at the moment, but I'm going, I'm going, well, that's where I'm going next week. The is yeah. telling me there's a new business starting up for you. So oh, okay. is that the license and then you can do something? Because you're a plumber, right? Yeah, I'm a plumber by trade, but right. not in Australia. Too much red tape. And I'm not sure if I want to even do that. So um, I just want to give God the glory because we've been trying to connect with each other because you wrote in that you wanted prayer regarding a job. And then yeah. we couldn't keep the appointment appointments because God had you working. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So first of all, we want to give God all the glory for all the things that he has done in your life since our last prayer appointment, because you really weren't in a good place, but God is faithful. Uh, yeah. And I remember, <laughs> I remember him saying that he was going to tr do some training with you anyway. Well, I believe the Lord wants to give you an impartation today. You ready? Father, we release your impartation fire into your son. I see the Lord is putting a new garment on you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is writing something on your head right now. Thank you, Lord. Oh, the Lord is writing a title on your head right now. <coughs> deliverance, deliverance ministry. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Guess who's going to have a deliverance ministry? <coughs> What better way to be anointed for deliverance, yeah? And so I'm glad to hear that you're you're doing more training with ministry. Amen. Praise God. So you believe Jesus has a job for you? Yes, I do. Just need to activate it. And okay. yeah. And okay. then obviously the last issue. And yeah. so anyway, my, lo my lower hold back. On. Hold on. Lower back. Okay. Holy Spirit is telling me. You need to repent. Do you have anything to repent about? Just give it to God. Just take okay. a minute and repent in Jesus' name, especially about the lust. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Let me know yep. when you're done. All right. 
Thank you, Lord. Now, let's go on with this. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, Father, we bind everything that has entered his eyes in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. All of it, I command it out in Jesus' name bound. Thank you, Lord. Just let it go. Thank you, Jesus. <coughs> All the poisons out. <coughs> Thank you, Father. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. Weapon out of the back in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. So the pain in your back is actually coming from something around your waist. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for removing that in Jesus' beautiful name. So while the Lord is removing a few roots in you, the Lord wants to bless you with this job. Thank you, Jesus. So this job is going to make you more money than what you were planning on making. Thank you, Jesus. So the job around the corner, eh. so we'll see what God wants to do, but you're going to make some money with this license. So let me tell you what the Holy Spirit's telling me. Okay. You were in a place where you cared for your mom for a long time. Is that right? Because I don't take notes. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so the Holy Spirit is honoring your faith, of course. And for, me, for, for I guess, I think it was for quite a while, you pretty much gave up your life to care for your mother. Is that right? That's right. So Jesus knows everything about you. And then after your mom passed away, you grieved. And while you were taking care of your mom, you were doing the best that you could. You got into some stuff, you know the stuff, and you got delivered. Amen. But you needed a place to go. And weren't you having a hard time with the house or something? Um, yeah, well, we didn't own it. It was owned by my cousin. Uh -huh. And um, he, was, he was trying to sell it and I had to move out and I stayed with a friend of mine for, mm -hmm until the job my contract finished on the plumbing side in south africa before i could move to australia mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it was a hard it was it was kind of stressful it was it was yeah you were in a very stressful situation so thank you jesus for pulling him out of that thank you for bringing him to australia why did the lord bring you to australia peter uh well i was here before mm -hmm back in 2000 and then I left and then you left to go take care of your mom uh, I left to work in the Middle East and then I lost my job there and then I didn't really, really want to hang around so I waited for a month and then nothing happened I went back to my mom and then saw that my mom and dad weren't too good and just stayed on yeah praise God praise God so there, there's this thing that keeps you in a job for so long <coughs> and it ends yeah yeah yeah, and it's Jesus. very wandering. So it's not, it's wandering. So I'm going, yeah, there, I've been to Australia, then it was, you know, Iraq, Dubai, and then South Africa. So <clears throat> in your wandering, something has gripped onto you that has been ending jobs. It's been stealing. That's what the Lord is showing me. You ready to get rid of it? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Thank you, Father, for this wandering spirit to be broken <coughs> in Jesus' name. <laughs> Done in Jesus name father we want a sevenfold recompense Jesus thank you Lord out of his heart in Jesus name it was it was it was lodged in your heart thank you Jesus talk to me about your heart um well my heart's got a lot better since um the grieving um was this spiritual or did you have heart issues oh uh, I don't know. I've never had a problem with my heart for us. No, I'm thinking it was spiritual. Okay. Because when you said it got a lot better, I didn't know if there was a physical problem. Oh, I see. Okay. Not that I know of, no. Okay. So here's why I'm asking. How's relationships going? Uh, zero. Zero. That's why. <laughs> That's why. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the atonement, Lord. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the resurrection. Thank you for your righteousness in Jesus' name. So when you were working in the Middle East, you picked up a spirit. Okay. And the spirit was lodged in your heart. Then you go home. Everything's going, you know, you're doing the best you can. And since your mom passed away, 
it's like, you know, God wants you to go forward and prosper, but no relationships, any interest in a relationship? Um, no, there's not too much here in Kaguli. Okay, but, but if there was, would you have interest or not really? Yeah, sure. No, okay, sure. Look, I'd have interest. In, Restoration, but... Father. Thank you, Jesus. Restoration. Restoration. So talk to me about driving this. What, it, what are you driving? Well, it's just a, a heavier vehicle than it's a, in Australia, it's a HR. It's, it's um, one step up from a driver's license. So it's an 18 wheeler to... in the United States. Yes. A truck. No, no, no this is three axles. So it's uh, nine wheels. You got to do, do your, okay. <clears throat> so it's three on each side. So six wheels, sorry, six wheels. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just a small step up, but it's, you can do a little, quite a bit with it. No deliveries and that type of stuff. Okay, now and, just just bear with me here. Do you like flowers? <coughs> flowers? Mm. Not, I don't really pay too much attention to mm. flowers. Well, the girl that God has for you really likes them. All right. Mm. <laughs> really likes them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, when I say God is honoring your faith for how you cared for your parents, you have no idea what that means. That means so much to God. You faithfully took care of them. Yeah? And, okay, so you didn't think you did that good of a job, but you did a better job than most. All right? Mm. Yeah. He loves you. He loves you. Thank you, Jesus, for caring for him. Thank you, Jesus, for honoring his faith, because the rewards that you're about to receive are outrageous. Thank you, Jesus. So the nail biting, it goes back into your childhood. Yeah. 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 I figured that out to mm. young age. So, so when you were young, there were some scary things going on in your life. Do you remember them? Not offhand, because no, because you're a big burly man. But the thing is, is that when you were little, this was in the dreams. There was just some stuff, just some stuff, and it made you afraid. God knows everything about you. Something scared you when you were younger. Okay, I'm not really good with the natural, but I'm gonna say yep. maybe you were six years old in a dream, yep. in a dream, in a book. It was a book. Okay. Just bear with me. So the Holy Spirit is showing me a book. I don't know if your parents read to you before bed or a babysitter read to you before bed or if you read before you went to bed. Yeah, my parents, I think, used to read sometimes to me. Yeah. So thank you, Jesus, that you were healing him. It's something about a gold ring, a gold ring. The story was about a gold ring. Father, thank you for taking that from him in Jesus' name. Thank you for setting him free for the childhood terrors in Jesus' name. Break the habits. Whoa. Break the habits in Jesus' name that formed from them in Jesus' beautiful name. The Lord is telling me to tell you you're not going to have time to bite your nails anymore. So the Lord loves you. The Lord is filling your heart right now with love, his love in Jesus' name. Just receive I know you're big, burly, just received like a little child. So I don't know if you've ever been hurt in love before, but the Lord is healing your heart right now. Anybody ever hurt you that you loved? I mean, a relationship? Uh, once, but I, I don't know if I was really hurt, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably more rejection, I guess, rejection. <laughs> more is the key <laughs> there. <laughs> So the Lord is healing you. But because there was a spirit of rejection, this really did hurt you because I'm seeing a black poison that went from your heart into the depths of you. Thank you, Jesus, for healing his soul and removing that black poison right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Father, all demonic activity on that, we cancel it all in Jesus' name. All abandonment, all rejection. Thank you, Lord. All rebellion. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All pride. Thank you, Jesus. Everywhere that snake moves, in Jesus' name, I command it out. In Jesus' name, 
Thank you, Lord. What do you sense the Lord is doing in you, Peter? Right now? Mm -hmm. I, not sure, but I just feel that slight little bit of uh, like that fluey hot sweat. The what? F like a fluey, just a hot sweat. Oh, yeah. the hot sweat. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the refiner's fire, Lord. Thank you for your love for us, Jesus. Mm -hmm. So you've been concerned about a lot of things and the Lord is removing all of that from you as well. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you're going to feel lighter after this. And for some reason, it's on your shoulders, but it's also in your mind. Thank you, God. It's like in the spirit realm, I've seen you bent over with worry, concern, worry, concern, trying to break out of this pattern. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Father, for lifting that weight that we cast aside our cares, Hebrews 12, 1. All to you, Lord. And all the words that people have spoken to you, were you bullied or something? Not really bullied maybe on words i was bullied a little bit yeah because it's you know, like feel all this like, like stupid or whatever the case mm. may, might have been yeah god does not like that now god tells us who's stupid in the bible <laughs> but it's not his children amen and you have something lifting out of your right shoulder thank you jesus what's up with your right shoulder not much i just i have noticed that I, it's not as flexible as the left oh it's stiff right at the road yeah. temple, Paul. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you for healing the shoulder in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Pick it up. No, I don't have a problem there. It's just wordy when you get dropped behind it. Mm -hmm. Pick it up in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for healing him in Jesus' name. Thank you for healing the muscles. Thank you, Jesus, for healing him. Up. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Do you ever pinch a nerve in your back? Yeah, yep. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for healing that, that nerve in Jesus. That can, ha that can happen quite often, depending on what I'm doing, like physical work. Hmm. Yeah, because it was there. It was pinched. Okay, pick it up. Thank you, Lord. Father, I command all pain and trauma out of him. <clears throat> In Jesus' name. The Lord is moving through your back muscles right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I know you just wanted a job, but I'm feeling something leaving your face right now. In Jesus' name. Okay, the Lord is telling me to tell you to move your neck. Thank you, Lord. Pick up your arm. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. How's that feel? Better? Yep, a little bit better. Amen. He's going to finish what he started. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. So we give you all the glory, Lord. What do you want to say to Jesus? Uh, uh, just thank you. Thank you for being with me. Sometimes you just don't realize it when you're going through stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't see anything coming right. Mm -mm. And that's when he's the closest. Yeah. That's when he's the closest. JesusTodayMinistries.org. We are here to minister and to pray with you right in the comfort of your own home or your office. If you are seeking counseling, healing, deliverance, financial breakthrough, if you feel that there is a block or you're experiencing hindrance in your blessings, please know that God cares about you and all that concerns you. Hi, my name is Peggy Golden. I am a pastor and I have a master's in Christian counseling. God has made a way for people all over the world to receive counsel, healing, and deliverance through the use of technology right in your own homes. God heals, saves, and delivers his people every hour of the day. 
There is no distance for God. If you do not know God, if you are seeking him, or if you have found yourself in a situation that you need help getting out of, please know nothing is too hard for God. Please visit my website at jesustodayministries.org. You can get to know more about me there. And please remember to read the testimonials of what others have experienced by contacting this ministry. There is no fee, but you are able to make a donation. For those who are in the States as well as international clients, we can use voice or video chat on Skype, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, or Viber. I look forward to praying with you and all that God will do.